In the health beat, one in every 20 Americans over the age of 50 experiences peripheral artery disease. That means clogged arteries, usually in the legs, and extreme pain. It can also increase your risk for heart attack and stroke. Now with a new approach, though, to leg stents, some patients not only can walk again, they can run again. 73-year-old Ellen Bergami is running competitively again. But a year ago, she experienced so much pain in her leg that she was facing amputation. I cannot tell you how much pain you are in because it's like a tourniquet on your leg shutting down and you're getting no blood. Ellen was experiencing an There's acute form here. of peripheral no artery disease that was shutting down the blood flow to her right leg. After a series of failed procedures, she was still in constant pain and addicted to fentanyl. I think that she was at a point where she had so much pain in her foot that I think if if she wanted an amput if she required an amputation, she probably would have been relieved. Doctors replaced Ellen's old metal stents with fabric stents with drug-coated balloons at the ends to keep the femoral artery open. These new stents have lasted more than a year and a half and have changed Ellen's life. I think drug-coated balloons are going to turn out to be a medical breakthrough. I think that the data so far is pretty good. Recently, Ellen ran a 5K and she finished third in her age group. This is from November 2016 and it is an honor to wear it and to put it on and to know that I did it. Now those drug-coated balloons were approved by the FDA in 2015 and they are showing good outcomes and reducing the need for repeat procedures.